Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to submit uh, a web form using Google Web Forms to REISIF. You can use this for your leads, you can use this for referrals, you can use it for whatever you really want, but you can give a link to somebody and they can fill out this web form and submit that information right into your REI SIFT account. And we're gonna go ahead and use Zapier to make it happen. All right, so the three tools you're gonna need to make this successful is Google Web Forms, which is entirely free. So you don't gotta worry about that. I'm gonna show you where to find that. You can Google Google Web Forms, but I'm gonna show you an easier way. Um, you need REI SIFT, uh, any account, and then you need Zapier. Um, and, and with that, you can, set up this system. A lot of people have requested this to where, you know, they wish that they could, you know, have a form to be able to submit, for example, uh, like Podio. Podio has Podio forms and you can submit information and it can go into REISIF, right? Um, this is really the same exact way to do that, um, except for we're using Google Web Forms and then connecting it with Zapier. I'm going to go ahead and go, just go to a blank screen here. And if you click on the three dots under Google Apps, uh, on your account and just scroll down, you can see forms. Just go ahead and click forms. And when you go there, you're gonna see that I've actually got a, a form right here. I just named it new leads. Uh, and I'm gonna open that up and I'm just gonna use this as an example, okay? I'm gonna show you uh, though, if you create a blank one, uh, all you're gonna do is name it new leads or whatever you want it to be. And then um, from there, uh, that's it, all right? That's how you create one. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna utilize the one that I already have. Uh, because it's faster, okay? So first thing I did is I changed my theme to blue, naturally. Um, I renamed it new lead, and then I just simply created some forms here, right? So I named the first one first name. I did it as a short answer. Um, I'm not gonna say that it's required because it's really not. Uh, really, we care about the property address. Um, the last name, the property street address, make that required, a short answer, property city, property state, property zip, Prop, uh, phone number, again, short answer and required. Email, uh, I don't put that as required. Notes aren't required. And then assigned to um, is, I'm gonna show you a trick um, that you can do so you don't have to retype in the email every single time, okay? So once you have that, uh, what you're gonna do now is you're going to click on the settings gear in the top right corner here. And you're gonna go and um, you're going to click and make sure that your settings look basically exactly like mine do right now. Uh, so make sure it does. And once it does, we're going to then close that and click over to responses. And under responses, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the view response spreadsheet or to create a response. I'm gonna delete the responses that are in here now. Um, if you don't have this here, when you click on this, it you should um, it should have you create one. And let's just go back, in fact, because I want to make sure you guys have exactly how it should be. I don't remember what it looked like beforehand, and I didn't think about it. So let's create a new one here, and then let's click on responses. See how it says create spreadsheet? When you click on that, just create a new spreadsheet and just name it new lead, right? New leads responses, right? Something like that, and then click create, all right? That's going to save it inside of your Google Drive, all right? So just make sure you do that. Um, otherwise, if I clicked on view spreadsheet here, it's gonna open up and it's gonna go exactly to that spreadsheet and I can delete this out here. That way we have a blank sheet here, okay? So um, with that being said, go ahead now that you have your Google Sheet, you have your questions that you want, you can add any other questions on here, uh, pretty much make it identical to, um, you know, to, to any other web form that you'd submit into you know, uh, REI SIFT, right? Um, and then all you're gonna do is click on the, uh, the send button here. And I wanna show you a cool trick here to, um, to click on the uh, share button and then just do a shorten URL. And then you can share that um, so that you can have a really easy one. You can even, if you really wanted to, buy a domain name like, like submit to, you know, submit, give me leads.com or something and, and you can redirect it here so that you can share it to people for referrals and stuff like that. Um, in addition to that, you can actually, if I can remember where it's located here, we can get a pre-filled link. So click the three dots here and click on get pre-filled link. And what this allows you to do is I can then put what I wanna be sent here, like Diana at, at Florida Cash Real Estate. 
so that um, though that form can be you know automatically have that information in there uh, or, and whatever whatever other information you want to have you know autofill and you click get link and now if I were to post that link that's the wrong one if I were to copy that link and go here, what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna automatically have that there. So this is where you'd wanna put like your lead manager, that way these records that are submitted automatically get assigned to uh, your lead manager, right? So this is really simple. Okay, so now once that's done, what we're gonna do is we are going to um, go ahead and, and click on send and then I need the URL here, copy this URL. Boom, I'm gonna save that. I'm just gonna paste it right here for now. I'm gonna open it up and make sure that it's available, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna go over to Zapier and I've already created a Zap here with the Google Form. Um, but what you're gonna do is click on Create Zap and you're gonna use Google Forms. Okay, and then you're gonna choose an event. You're gonna say New Response in Spreadsheet. You can also do New or Update, it's really up to you, but I'm gonna do New Response. Click on Continue. And then I'm gonna choose a spreadsheet. So I'm gonna do type new lead or choose an account. We're gonna choose my account and then continue. And then it's gonna ask me what spreadsheet to use, which is going to be new lead responses. And then the worksheet is gonna be form response one, okay? Continue, test the trigger. And it should say that there may or may not be anything. So there's nothing there. So let's go ahead and submit one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and submit um, 215 Hollywood Boulevard Northeast, which is my office address, phone number, email, um, notes. Hey, Tyler. And then I'm not gonna assign it to anybody, okay? I'm gonna click submit. So I just submitted that and you can click back to submit another response. And now we should be able to go to Zapier and um, test trigger again. And now you see that we get some information here. It doesn't come over very nicely, um, but we get some information. Uh, we can deduct what it means here. All right, so click on continue. Now we're gonna search REI SIFT. All right, and we're gonna add an event, create an update property, and then click continue. Now choose our account. If you don't know how to do this, um, simply go to your dashboard, click on Help Center, uh, and then scroll down to the Zapier Dojo and watch the getting started section here and, and, or in the connecting uh, apps to Zapier so that you can learn how to connect REI SIF to your Zapier account. Because if you don't see this here, it means that you need to go to the SIF Dojo, get your private invite link and so on and so forth, okay? Um, list, um, I'm gonna maybe put this as referral or whatever I want, depending on what I'm using it for. What's up, dude? Uh, uh, one second, man. Um, and then I'm gonna do a tag and I'm gonna do whatever I want there. And then I'm gonna do the street as street, city as city, uh, and then state as state. And then county, I don't care about, postal code as zip code. And then the status, we're gonna put it as a lead or whatever you're using this form for. And at this point, you can still put an assign to in here if you wanted to put Diana or whatever you want to put, you know, at Florida Cash Real Estate. You can put that there. And then from there, you could do, you know, the first name of the individual, the last name of the individual. And then we don't submit any owner information. You can totally do that. And then the phone number, uh, I think we put phone number. Yep. And then the email, which is going to be right here email and then just click continue. And then from there, we can actually go ahead and just test and continue because um, we already got that information. So now what we'll do is we'll go to uh, REI SIF and you'll see because it gave us a response back, it says phone number unknown. It gave us all the information. So I know that this made it to REI SIF. Click on records, search that address and it's gonna be incomplete. And there it is as a lead with the phone number and uh, with the owner information and everything that's needed. So uh, if I were to submit another you know, address here, which I can do real quick, I can just come here. Uh, let's do boom, 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 submit. It's gonna come over here. And if I search by that address now, oh, you know what? I didn't turn the zap on, so it's not gonna really do anything. Let's say Google form to REI SIFT. 
and then make sure you turn your zap on because otherwise it's not going to do crap. Okay. All right. So now it's turned on. Let me go ahead and resubmit that back. So you guys don't think I'm a liar. Submit. Now go back over here and we can wait for that to send back over. Let's see if that does it. It should go to my zaps. Hmm. If it ever doesn't work or there's something that seems off, you can come here and you can view zap details and you can see if it actually had something come through. It looks like maybe I didn't give it enough time to go through. Uh, zap unpaused. So I'm going to do it one more time here. Um, I don't know how long it takes for it to actually activate, but it should be relatively fast. Submit and then so we should see a task happen now, task usage. If Zapier is gonna work with us. Well, it worked the first time, so it's gonna work the second time. <laughs> Just make, give it some time to adjust or whatever, and if you have any issues, definitely reach out to Zapier or, or reach out to us. Um, but that should, um, that should be everything to get connected, all right? Um, that's exactly how you set up the Zap, um, but I think it might take some time for it to actually, like, I don't know, vest or something like that inside of Zapier. So that's how you use a web form to submit a lead into REI Sift. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. Um, give us some time. If it doesn't work, then um, definitely go back through it and see what might have happened. Um, maybe you can see the responses are in here, right? If you go into uh, your actual form here inside of uh, Google, you'll see the responses and you can see it's all in there. So uh, it's probably at the point of which it's sending into uh, Zapier, or uh, if it's not hitting there, or if it is hitting there, and then it doesn't get the REI sieve, then, then definitely reach out to us and let us know, okay? So I uh, appreciate it. If you have any questions, again, reach out. See you guys later.